Hey, how are you guys doing? This is Tony with Design Kingdom CS3. Uh, today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to insert a tattoo into a photo digitally using Photoshop. Uh, the Photoshop I'm using here is CS3. Um, how it, I'm not using anything that pertains to CS3 only. This can be done with any Photoshop. So, uh, yeah, let's begin. Alright, right here, uh, photo. I took off the internet of um, just a bunch of uh, tattoo designs you can find these anywhere just google them and what you do is the, hit the magic wand click on the black or actually uh, let's go with this more intricate pattern here like in this click uh, similar well it really didn't matter and let's go ahead and layer via I don't even be needing this alright we'll just work on this layer here um, go ahead and choose any type of a uh, tattoo you want. That's the way you could get the background to become transparent. Click the lasso tool and go ahead and kind of outline the shape they want. All right. Click the black arrow go ahead and drag it and drop into your new file. Since we won't be with this anymore, I would just uh, just to make it more stream. Shoot that down. All right, what I'm doing here, and you can see we have this uh, tattoo not quite right where we want it. So let's go ahead and let's free transform. You can make this a little big. There, it's fine. I think that'll do. And let's uh, kind of turn just a little. I think that's good. I press enter, and there you go. All right, now what you want to do is align it to wherever you want to put it. Don't worry about if it's not looking right, we'll fix that right now. I think that's good. Okay, now let's go ahead and select our warp tool by going to Edit, Transform, Warp. Let's zoom here. And basically all you have to do is try to estimate how it would look if it were an actual tip. Of course, you would know that it would have contours of the body. So that's what you want to try to aim for. Certain things like this, you know that the tattoo would kind of spread a little. Alright. Let's try and keep it pointing up. And let's make this just a little pointing outward. And bring this. I think that's good. All right. Now what you want to do is go ahead and hit multiply on the layers palette. Where is it? Multiply. And go ahead and click fill and bring down, bring down just a little, just enough so the light beneath it gets through and it gives it that nice effect of shadows. See how it's going to be darker right here along the spine than it will be out here. And it's pretty cool. Pretty easy. Now, if you want to add some more, let's do something a little more uh, intricate. Let's go ahead and uh, do this. Put this one on the left. Just to show you guys how easy it is. Alright. Let's say we put it in the leg here. But we'll hit control. Okay. For the free transform, let's find the how it would fit around your watch there. All right, that's good. Then until let's zoom in here. And again, free transform. In fact, let's not do. Right, let's decide where we want to put this. All right, let's try this again. Uh, you gotta measure out real carefully when you're working with perspective. And uh, just to make sure, let's add a perspective to it. I think that's good. All right, Control T to form it, and bring this down a little. 
there we go and let's say we want to put it right on the leg that's good all right let's go ahead and uh, warp it to contour the leg be careful for the contour basically it looks over so there you go. I think that's good again you want to go ahead and hit multiply on their palette and fill let's set it down just a bit so we get the shadows showing through any excess uh, part of the tattoo that you don't want that's being covered that should be covered to say um, by the stomach area right here let's just use that Put in uh, this nice and hard, all right, and uh, just be careful not to erase any further this area, and that's it. It's uh, simple to add any tattoo to a photo. Well, my name is Tony, I'm with Design Kingdom CS3, and thanks for watching.